Hey guys, welcome to Forgotten Spirit Halloween Props. Spirit of Halloween 9 here, and today we're going to be doing giving a quick little overview on the Lurching Vampire from Spirit Halloween 2011. About a while ago, I'd say about two months ago, three months ago, or probably a month ago rather, I was on a stream, and um, I sent the Clown Haunter, you guys have all heard of him before, um, and congratulations uh, to him for hitting 100 subscribers, or um, I'm sorry, 1,000 subscribers, crazy. Um, he was going to this Halloween store down in Southern California, and he had mentioned that he had seen a few older spirit Halloween props, um, specifically ones from Techie Toys. Um, a name that, a brand that um, people are all familiar with, in fact everybody's too familiar with it. Um, and he said that they had a few Resurrection Marys, um, a few Guardian of the Graves, a pop-up zombie, and he said they had a couple of these guys, and I'm like, wow, that's really cool. So, um, uh, I did a little bit of research, and I called them. Now, when I ordered this prop, I didn't actually order it online, um, it was actually called because, um, Apparently how their website works is that they don't necessarily keep updating it because the Halloween season is so rapid and people are buying up these props fairly quickly. So instead of updating the website every you know few seconds, they actually just um, put the phone number on and you can call them. And I went ahead and called them and I, re and I asked them if they had any of this prop left and they actually had two left. This is the 2011 version. They had this version and then they also had the 2010 version. Um, available at the store. And I called them and I said, yeah, I'd like one. And they said, alright. And apparently the one that was shipped to me was the 2011 version, which is pretty cool. Now a lot of you guys are probably wondering, well, hey, there is another prop like this. There's actually a lot of props like this. There's a Lurching Reaper, and there's also Rosemary and jack o -Lunger. Well, to be honest with you guys, and actually interestingly enough, this was actually the very first Lurching animatronic that Tiki Toys actually ever came out with. That's right, a lot of people think that it was Rosemary and then this animatronic in 2011, well, and a lot of haunters, you know, squeak, <laughs> squeakers, say that, um, you know, Rosemary was first, but um, no, actually, this prop was the first animatronic, lurching animatronic that came out from Techie Toys, um, and obviously a, a bunch of other companies would follow after, including Seasonal Visions, and um, another company that um, isn't very well known um, I think YJ came out with a lurching prop as well. So a lot of companies have tried to put their own spin on this animatronic. Um, like I said, this is the 2011 version, and there's actually a difference between the 2010 and the 2011 version. Obviously, the 2011 version um, is slightly improved as far as the quality goes. Um, this one has improved poles. The 2010 one's poles were kind of thin. They were, um, instead of a snap to lock into place, it was a twist to lock into place, so hopefully you can see my hands. Um, another thing also that the 2010 one did not include that the 2011 one does have is those brown support poles in the front. Um, the 2010 one did not include those poles, and that's actually the reason why the 2010 one was a lot more faulty, or was more faulty actually rather than the 2011 version because it didn't have those support poles. Um, and the reason why they did include those support poles, I think, is because uh, the 2010 ones broke a lot, because when they lurched forward, uh, the head was a little bit top-heavy, and then on, the, on this one, it is also top-heavy, but the 2010 one, it was top-heavy, like this one, and it just, the poles couldn't handle it, and the base couldn't handle it, and the base was a little bit lower quality, I think, um, and obviously they improved that, they improved the poles, and they added those brown support poles just for the longevity of the prop and just to make it last a lot longer, which is, I think, a great thing in Techie Toys, is, in my opinion. Um, now, unfortunately, the prop that this this guy, I'm, you guys are probably going to say, oh, it doesn't work, but no, this guy actually does work pretty well. Um, he does lean quite a bit to the side, unfortunately. You can even hear it when, when I try to push it back. So... But he does lean to the right quite a bit, and I see that with this animatronic a lot. Uh, the 2010 versions, I think, are a little bit more straight. I don't know why. I think those are a tiny bit more straight, but the 2011 ones tend to lean a lot to the right. It's not really the left. It's more mostly the right side that they lean to. So that's that's kind of interesting. I, I, I uh, can't really think of any other techie props that do that. 
The 2010 version's audio is actually slightly higher pitched than this one. This one, the two, all the 2011 ones have a lower pitched. Um, another difference, I guess, from the techie, from the guys over at Techie Toys. So now, unfortunately, you cannot get this animatronic anymore. This animatronic is actually sold out. It's been sold out ever since 2013. They had them on the website until 2013, and then when they updated the website in 2014, they actually took this prop off the website, which is very unfortunate because this is my favorite prop. You know, this is actually my most favorite spirit hauling prop they've ever come out with, just because it's so unique and interesting, you know? And that's another thing, too. I've never seen a Techie Toys prop that actually has um, eyelids open up. You know, this is the only Techie Toys prop, believe it or not, that actually has eyelids that open up when the when he lurches when before he lurches forward it eye, his eyes and mouth open up and also he's the only techie prop to actually have a really good eye detail although that can be that's a little bit controversial because a lot of people will say well you know there's excuse me there's this prop that has this and there's this prop that has eyes so but it is the only techie prop that actually has eyelids that open up in the back and a mouth like this that actually goes down now a lot of people do say that this animatronic does look like a puppet and they actually don't really see that in this prop. In fact, I, I don't even think about puppet when I see this prop. All I really see is the, um, I, I don't even really notice that too. So that's kind of interesting and kind of, you know, different. I've never heard that, so. <laughs> um, and I will give you guys a quick demo of him. Um, first I gotta shut his mouth because, you know, you gotta do that. Um, now one thing I will say when this guy lurches forward, his head will not tilt back and the reason why is because I just disconnected the wire. This prop is also very, very sensitive uh, to sound and also he's, he has a very sensitive light sensor right there in the neck. So that's another really cool feature is that they gave this thing light, sens uh, light sensor. But anyway guys, sound, motion, and foot pad activated. So here we go. This is a very creepy prop. So you can see, there he goes. Now, it looks like he doesn't go back very far, or lurch forward very far, but in reality, he actually does lurch forward quite a bit. This is actually one of the only lurching animatronics that actually lurches forward quite a bit. So, we'll, we'll, we'll give you guys a couple good tastes of this prop. As you can see, it bounces around quite a bit, too. So obviously it's dark out, so his light sensor isn't going to really work, but he does have sound, so... Alright, we'll give you guys one more taste and we'll go ahead and close out here. guys so that's pretty much it for this animatronic like I said I'm really happy to have this prop I've wanted him ever since 2013 when I first saw him this was like a prop that I was like oh my gosh lurching vampire I have to have it and I actually tried getting him in 2013 and said I failed horribly so but yeah this is honestly this is a really cool prop you know just uh, just an absolute awesome animatronic he's so cool he's pretty much almost six feet tall I'd say he's about five nine five ten so this guy is very very life-size it's a really cool prop no other prop I know of can touch this animatronic um, that Spirit Halloween was that Spirit Halloween has made um alright guys so I, I hope you guys did enjoy this um this video um be sure to subscribe be sure to smack the bell notification give this video a like if you enjoyed it and if you have any questions about this animatronic please comment down in the comment section below and guys, 
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again on Forgotten Spirit Hauling Props.